Go, tell me when to go. Tom, Tom. I got all that. What, what? I got that. Nice. <laughs> okay, so, Anthony, tell us what we're doing. Actually, introduce yourself. And introduce myself? Yes. So, my name is Anthony. A lot of people call me Tony. I'm a DJ. I go by Infinite Cosmos. So I own, I'm the partial owner or co founder of the Sky Age. So, we be hosting events and doing a lot of stuff. So, today, what we got going on is I have a small car over here. Can barely fit stuff in. So, we're going to be putting it on like the roof rags and a little stuff so I can be hauling more stuff around for the company, doing more with it. And just the overall being a little bit more independent, so. What Anthony has is a 2013? Uh, technically 14, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same car, regardless. Yeah. He has a 2014 Chevy Spark right here. And now one thing with this thing, amazing gas mileage, but very tiny. Now, we already got the crossbars from Harbor Freight right there. But the crossbars are kind of useless without the basket. We just right, got, we got this the bad basket. boy right here. Look yeah. at this puppy. Now, the crossbars are simple. They kind of just uh, go on the roof. This one requires a little bit more assembly. So let's pull this guy out okay. and get it installed and see what a Harbor Freight roof rack set will do. Uh, let me get you a box cutter or not? Yeah. Take a look at my little friend. Hey, you measured the thing, right? Uh, like the, this, this, the facade to see if it's right width? Uh, I thought we already no. took into account of that. Oh, fuck it. But either way, this is going to make you calm more practical. I can't wait to Christmas, dude. I'll get a real treat for the family. Dude, actually, that'd be kind I'm of just bad. it on this, like... <laughs> actually, this thing's fucking pretty wide. Goddamn. Well, it's only supposed to haul up to 150 pounds. It's not that heavy, duty. Instructions, here we are. Uh, you start reading these, guys. Owner's manual and safety instructions. 150 pounds capacity. Okay, this is dead, dead ass simple because it seems like you just got a front, middle, and rear section and just some sleeves to go in between each section. That's it? Yeah. Okay, let's and do it. And then a little bracket, it's like bolted down to the, the bars. So that's it. So anyhow, we opened this thing up. So it seems like it's divided into three sections and then there's gonna be a little connecting things for each one. And then like little brackets just go into the bar. Doesn't seem like it's too hard, so. Okay, so, this is super simple, right? As you can see right here, uh, these little screws go into here and hold everything together. So there's four screws on each side, and these little sleeves cover up the screws. So it looks like- Oh, look at the cute little baby flat. Yeah, it's tiny flathead. Oh yeah, He's that's- such a cute flathead. Aww. Yeah, she said it wasn't enough, but he's a giga gets the job done, look. Is it going in? Uh, it's hard to tell. Don't worry, he has that same problem too. We're thinking of it. We're thinking of it too fancy. Like, I think what happens when they put it together, they they didn't thread it. Oh really? So these are basically self tappers. Okay, so as far as putting the screws in go, as Anthony just noticed, there are washers. We should have put the washers in, but we're not going to take these out what? since they're already in there. Well, you're the one who you're the one who found them. <laughs> So, anyway, the screw goes in here, right, just like that, and then it goes into this hole right here, right? Also, it's way easier with a Phillips head instead of a flat head. So, yeah, these are actually self-tapping screws, so you got to put a little bit of force on them when they go in, just like that. There you got you. And it helps if you have a really strong guy to hold the rack while you do this. Okay, that's in there for sure. Right. Can we even put the sleeve on with the, the washer like that? Actually, I don't even know. I mean, the instructions say to use it, so. Yeah, looks like it's going on there. Yeah, it's hella. It's hella gripping underneath there, that's what it is. It really is. Yeah, I don't particularly like these washers with it, bros. I mean, yeah, but there's gotta be a reason why they put it there, right? So, Mr. Cosmos, do you wanna explain what we're about to do? We about to move these bars out so it can pro uh, space this out properly. Yeah, so uh, we actually ended up getting these crossbars like what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? But I forget, man. It's <laughs> somewhere around that time frame. Yeah, like a week or two ago, right? But we were too excited to 
not take them or not put them on. So we ended up taking them out of the box and installing them in the Harbor Freight parking lot. It was badass. It was. But the problem is we didn't properly uh, measure it out when we put it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen them up now and uh, make sure they're square and uh, line them up with like some grooves that these racks already have. Why do you look so worried? The key doesn't want to come out when it's unlocked. Oh yeah, that's normal. So, oh, okay. So look at that, and then that covers there. So let's grab the Allen key, just loosen up both sides, and we'll like, slide it up to here. Ew. Yeah. Sheet. And then once we're once it's lined up straight and square, we're gonna put this guy on. So this is the actual uh, attachment piece for the roof rack to the actual car. So the roof rack basket has rails in it that go in here. This will cl clip in and sandwich just like that. And then this guy will go onto the actual crossbar itself. So it'll all be sandwiched in together by two little bolts. It's a super simple and easy way to put things together. And now that the roof rack right there is centered on Sparky, we're gonna start mounting it. Dude, actually it looks really good on Sparky. Okay, so we got the roof rack on the car itself. Now Anthony will tell you what he thinks about it. I'm loving it, bro. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely loving it. I can't wait to start hauling stuff around, moving stuff, you know? When it comes to the family, go camping, you know, uh, for Christmas time, haul a Christmas tree or something, like, hey. The most important part, does it feel solid and sturdy? I mean, I wouldn't be on here if it wouldn't. I mean, that's a win then. <laughs> but the roof, the crossbars were what, 79 something? Yeah. And then the actual basket was 100 something? Uh, it was 108, including taxes and everything out the door. It's like 180 ish, probably. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So it's, everything is squared up. We ended up measuring from side to side, actually making sure it's nice and nice and square. Oh. <laughs> Just like so. And overall, it's it's pretty fucking mint. Like, look at this. That's oh shit! Really solid. Oh shit! <laughs> like, yeah, that's a win. Fuck we're yeah, gonna put those little like connector cover things on here, and we're good. Sweet. So we're doing a quick little test of the. The new roof rack installation right here. It's got a box spring and a twin bed on it. And I'm not gonna lie, this looks kind of awesome on this tiny little car. That looks pretty solid. Let's see. So So I this is The roof rack itself is actually rated for 150 pounds. This is definitely nowhere near the weight limit of it, but the basket and the rack does make this car a lot more usable. And yeah, I could have used a truck for this, but it's a great way to test it out. Is that a good option or a bad option? No, no, I thought I didn't have enough room. I'm good. We're good? Okay, let's I want to put the door in the front though. Oh, that's loose, goddamn. Yeah.